Greetings everyone, The Goods Tonight here today with a review on the LBT 6094 Alpha produced back in December of 2014. So, particularly here, this is my go-to highly recommended plate carrier of all time introduced to me by Redbeard after I moved up from the LBX 0094 because the built-in M4 magazines weren't cutting it for me. So, this is a fantastic plate carrier. It's got a 6x3 double spaced on the front little panel here, which is flip up. So you got your insert kangaroo pouch, mine's set for uh, MP7 magazines, but I'm using it for MP5. Little pistol butt pouches here, and uh, on the front plate here, you have this wire, this, uh, not this wire, this uh, section of Velcro here, you can run comm wires or anything you need to through there, and you've got your main chest piece. Now, this chest piece here, the first row is standard Velcro, but then the second row it goes into a mollied Velcro sort of setup, so... So to keep in mind, you got your shoulder adjustment straps. Let's go with this one here. You can pop these open, and yeah, you've got a little adjustment tab there. It goes in through the back, as you would expect. And yeah, so right back on there on the shoulder is where you'd adjust it from and all that stuff. So yeah, you can slip those off, and I actually put my wolf sling through one of those. It's secured with a little additional Velcro strap. And yeah, it's so a pretty fantastic. Now one of the key additional features is I have uh, large training sappies in here. They are swimmer cut, so I can actually get my hands in front of me. So pretty comfy. There's quite a bit of weight in here actually with the uh, large sappies and the addition of side sappies. So for side sappies, these little tabs, you can reach in through here and pull them open and they'll cover the additional uh, top portion here because this is a six by six sappy plate. So I'm pretty sure it won't hold 6x8. This is pretty much the last layer of Velcro available. Additionally, right in here, you have this tab. And in the open space, they put little pockets. So you can put a radio or small tool or anything in there that you that fits your fancy, really. So nice options there. The back is uh, pretty much 6x6. You can mount anything on there you need, radio. The hydration pouch has been updated. So this one actually doesn't droop down beyond the uh, plate carriers is actually out of the way. And, as I mentioned in another one of my reviews, the Granite Gear Battle Belt, or Padded Belt, Padded Patrol Belt, actually fits nicely and out of the way with a large one here. So I've got access to all my grenades and everything without interference on the plates, and additional magazines down here on the hip. So it gives you quite a few options. Up on the front here, as I actually forgot to mention, uh, what side is there? You go this side. So you've got your little extra piece of molly here, which I've got a clip for a hydration source. But you've got down here, there's a vertical clip, and it's this one right here on the other side, which is great for connecting any Swordens adapters that you might have. And up here in case, I don't know, you want to attach something different, a different type of comm or anything, you have options for actually mounting your push to talk. So, pretty cool stuff. You can run the hydration over the shoulder and then just uh, move it around here and clip it into this little space here. So pretty, pretty versatile. You can use it for a variety of setups and pretty much anything you want. A lot of uh, airsofters will run dummy plates, which in the middle of summer actually sounds like a pretty good idea. As you can tell, I am already beginning to sweat. The fan's off and it is pretty hot in Okinawa in the summer during the daytime, which it is right now. So. Just want to give you guys this quick review. This is a relatively expensive plate carrier, so, you know, watching videos is probably something you want to do. Learn more before you buy, so. Let's see what else is there. So these pockets are nice. Throw anything you need in there. I actually have, what do I have in here? Oh, right, I have my hearing protection, so. I put pouches just about anywhere. There's plenty of space on the sides, particularly with plates. And yeah, so it all fits pretty fantastic and I would have to highly recommend it. You can take the, sappy pl the side sappies out and then you'll just have a normal cover bun. The cover bun, where you'll normally come together and they'll have the uh, elastic straps with the eyelets, it's not like that. Once the uh, cover bun comes to an end, there's uh, three little fabric tabs that you run your elastic banding through. It does come with extra elastic. I still have my replacement one in this uh, right side on the inside of the sappy here. So if it were to break or snap or burst into flames or anything crazy, I'd be able to swap it out. So, yeah, when you're spending close to like $350 or so, 
It's, uh, it's good to know this gear's reliable. I've been using this for over a year now, and it's gone through some muck. It's been beaten and battered. It's taken some abuse, and here it stands, still in one piece, fantastic, and ready to save your life in the worst case scenario. Although, most of the life saving comes from actual plates. There's no soft armor in here, so the plates will be the only thing stopping projectiles and fragmentation. So there's a few openings. You can get a soft armor under set, and they do make upgrades. It's a um, soft armor sort of riot upgrade. Comes with a massive groin protector, some shoulder armor, a little neck armor and stuff if that's what you need. It's not so heavy, it's hot and heavy enough as it is, so I would prefer to keep it exactly as it is here. So I think that just about covers anything, everything. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'll get back to you, and if there's sufficient questions, I'll make a second video covering those uh, concepts and questions. So there you have it. Absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend this plate carrier. Can't stress it enough. I know Condor, Condor has their own plate carrier, and honestly, it's not built up to spec as this. The reason I ordered one was so I could take the plates out of this and help improve the survivability here, but as you can see, the side these fit fantastic. I could take them out if need be for lighter weight. And yeah, absolutely phenomenal. This thing works fantastic. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'll have just raving reviews. Make it happen, everyone. So yeah, if this is, this is what you're looking for, this is the way to go. I've tried a few other plate carriers, and as far as the ones that don't involve soft armor, this is probably the best available. There's a few other plate carriers, and um, they're pretty good from what I've seen, but this is the one I've used, and honestly, I haven't had a need to use another. So take that for what you will with a grain of salt, so on and so forth. So take care, everyone. Cheers. Stay safe. Avoid terrorists.